Long drives on snow-packed roads can be scenic, but they can become terrifying, and driving an RV on a hitch requires its own set of precautions. A good rule of thumb to remember is, the more majestic the conditions, the more dangerous the road can be. Tech Tuesday, where we share money-saving do-it-yourself repairs and upgrades, RV hacks, maintenance tips, and the latest in RV accessories, often in interviews with some of the most knowledgeable and exciting people in the industry. For more content and guest opportunities, head over to rvpodcast.com. That's rvpodcasts.com. Don't forget to tell all your friends that this show is completely free wherever you stream podcasts. Whether you're traveling south to the US or westbound across Canada to a snowbird destination, it's a good bet you could be driving your RV through snowy conditions from late fall to early spring. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 best practices for towing in snow. Today's show is courtesy the Pack Break Company. With slippery roads and heavy snow smacking the windshield, you and your rig need to be properly prepared for potentially dangerous situations. Check out these tips from our towing experts so you can confidently take on unexpected weather and arrive at your destination safely this winter. Number one is tow your trailer with the proper equipment. Using a bolt-on friction sway control product can actually be a hindrance in the winter as this equipment makes it harder to get control of the trailer on icy roads. A weight distribution system called air springs, airbags, or air suspension springs will help keep the ride smoother and your trailer in control. If you're driving in the mountains with a diesel-powered tow vehicle, consider using exhaust brakes, which use the exhaust pressure from the engine to help brake the vehicle. As a result, there's less wear and tear on the brakes since stopping power is more gentle and trailer sway will be reduced. Number two is know your vehicle. Towing a new trailer and tow vehicle in ideal conditions can be difficult enough while you get used to it. If you're taking a new trailer or truck out in the winter, be sure to do some test runs on less populated roads to learn how it runs and operates in bad weather. Number three, maintain your truck and trailer. Maintenance goes a long way when it comes to traveling safely any time of the year, but it's especially important in the winter. Before leaving, Double check that the suspension, tires and brakes on the truck and trailer are working properly. Check that all the essential fluids for the truck are replenished and that the towing equipment is performing flawlessly. Some of these top 10 items are common sense, but it's worth going over them. Number four is keep extra gear in the truck. If you were to have an accident in a remote area and severely damage or even lose your trailer, you need to have cold weather essentials to survive while waiting for help to arrive. Always have extra blankets, a first aid kit, food, water, matches, a tinder kit and tarp at the very minimum stored in your truck. It doesn't really matter whether you're traveling in wintry regions for a few hours or a few days. It's always best to be prepared for an accident or the unexpected by having the essential items in your tow vehicle as suggested by Transport Canada. These include a small shovel with a long handle, sand and traction mats, warning lights, reflective safety triangles or road flares, extra socks, gloves and footwear, emergency food pack and water bottles. Now we got one tip from one of our Arctic rally drivers and what he says he does is for an emergency food pack he packs dog food. That might sound crazy, but according to him, if you pack snack bars and you get a little hungry on the road in regular conditions, you'll probably dip into your emergency food pack. On the other hand, you won't eat dog food unless it really is an emergency. You should also have booster cables, a fire extinguisher, extra windshield washer fluid, fuel line antifreeze, and extra fuses. Lock de-icer and a small toolkit are also considered essential. It's also important to remember that some provinces, most notably British Columbia, have certain highway traffic regulations to follow when traveling in mountainous snowy regions. According to the BC Ministry of Transportation, the primary vehicle, your tow vehicle, that is towing a travel trailer or fifth wheel should be equipped with tires that have the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rating or an M plus S rating. Now the three peak mountain snowflake rating is far above the M plus S rating. So definitely look for those types of tires when you're getting ready for winter travel. 
the ministry states that chains should also be on board for the trailer tires to prevent slippage on banked curves. These regulations, which are also indicated by road signs with a truck camper symbol that represents all RVs, are in force and must be obeyed throughout BC from October 1st to April 30th, well before and long after you might be expecting snow. On highways that don't lead through mountain passes, but still require designated tires and chains, the regulations end March 31st. Number five is drive the speed limit or at comfortable speeds. Speed limits indicate how safe it is to drive at a certain speed in good conditions. When it's snowing or extremely cold, maintaining a safe speed is probably lower and slower. If drivers behind you get impatient, let them pass. Number six is keep a safe distance from other vehicles. Towing a heavy load means it will take longer for your rig to stop. Rather than maintaining a standard distance between your vehicle and the one in front of you, like you would in a car, if the other vehicle brakes hard, you'll have more time to brake and stop without jackknifing the RV. Number seven is pass safely. Unless the vehicle in front of you is driving extremely slow, like a tractor trailer going up a steep mountain road, try to avoid passing in bad weather. If you have to pass, be sure to do it safely and don't impede the traffic in the passing lane. It's better to take your time and get to your destination a little bit late and safely rather than not at all or with a damaged truck or trailer. Number eight is load weights and driving steep grades. Many RVers are tempted, and I'm one of them, to bring along all of our gear, which can result in overloading the truck and trailer. It's essential to understand the recommended load weights of both vehicles. While an overloaded vehicle can spell trouble in any condition, it's even more troubling when climbing steep grades on icy roads. If your travel includes driving in the mountains or even through areas of continuous rolling hills, be sure your vehicle and trailer do not exceed the manufacturer's suggested load limit. Number nine is driving in slippery conditions. Now, it's common knowledge to drive slowly on slippery roads, but always avoid turning the wheel too fast and don't brake too hard. When driving up hills in slippery conditions, the last thing you want to do is stop. Having the right momentum is always required, and driving too fast can cause you to spin out. If you don't think the vehicle in front of you is going to make it up that hill, wait until they do before you start to go. Always let the momentum push the vehicle and then keep your foot even on the gas, slow and steady. Number 10, check the forecast. Before you depart, monitor the weather for the distance you'll be traveling for that day. If conditions look bad, delay your day's plans until the weather clears. You'll be glad you did. Packbrake is recognized as a North American leader in the design and manufacturing of exhaust brakes, intake shutoff valves, engine brakes, and air spring helper kits for light and heavy duty diesel engine vehicles. Its headquarters R&D center is based in Surrey, BC with offices in Blaine, Washington. For more details about its products and services, visit packbrake.com. Thanks for listening to today's show. If you enjoyed it, share it with your friends. And if you'd like to hear more, please subscribe or follow us. For fun contests and picture submissions, check out our Instagram channel at Snowbirds RV Travelers.